Welcome to Realistic Reviews. And on today's review, I'm going to review this cheap folding knife. And this is an MTech Ballistic. It's model number MTA828. And I know people don't look twice at MTech knives. They think it's just junk. And a lot of it is. I will admit that a lot of it is. This one ain't too bad, actually. Um, this is marketed as like a survival knife, and it, it's got its purpose. I've actually carried this a little bit because it's a knife I can beat up on and not be afraid to break it. I think I only paid like I don't know, 15 bucks for this, if even. And it ain't bad. It's spring assisted, it pops out pretty quick. And it's only 440 stainless steel, so it's not going to be the best steel in the world. It's not going to be the sharpest. I mean, it's sharp enough to do most things they're going to do. But one thing I like is it's got this glass breaker thing on the end. And it's more than that. It's actually, if you unscrew it, it's a ferro rod. And that's why I take this knife with me. And it's got this little part ground down on the back. And you use that to start your fire with the ferro rod. And for like 15 bucks, this knife just might save your life one day. And I know, like I said, people don't look twice at M-Tech knives. And if I had the money, I'd probably buy something way better. Cold steel, something like that. I don't know. But for 15 bucks, this knife ain't too bad. If you carry something like this and you get lost in the woods or something, this could definitely save your life one day. And the uh, handle, it's, it's made out of aluminum. It's got these like rubbery grips. To, it's pretty decent. You notice my clip is gone. It actually broke off. Whatever. But yeah, it's got a decent blade on it for cheap 440 stainless China made steel. But for 15 bucks, it ain't too bad. It ain't great, but it ain't too bad. So if you're looking for something cheap that you can beat the shit out of, not worry if you break it or lose it, and that could potentially be a lifesaver in a survival situation this m -Tech knife just might be what you're looking for and it, it's all right it serves its purpose and that's about that's about all i can really say about it. so if you have anything else you want to add let me know in the comments down below okay before i go i do want to mention a couple other things real quick that i forgot the first one if you do happen to get a knife like this i assume with any m -Tech knife Keep an eye on this screw because it will come loose, it will fall out, and then the whole knife is a piece of junk because it's going to fall apart. So keep an eye on this screw, and if you're going to carry this exclusively, which I wouldn't, but if you do, maybe carry an Allen wrench that fits that. The next thing is, I don't know if you can hear this, probably not, but one thing thing about m -Tech knives with the spring assisted knives is when they're open and you shake it you can hear the spring inside it's not something to worry about it's not going to harm it or anything but it's kind of shit design if you ask me your knife shouldn't be making noise when you jiggle it like that but i mean other than that it stays locked pretty good it's got a little side to side play but yeah so yeah that's the rest of my review i guess if you have anything else you want to add, let me know down in the comments below. Again.